First, though, Caroline Flynn joins us from the Vietnam Memorial in Riverfront Park with the wonderful story of a vet who started his own phototherapy program for his fellow veterans. Caroline? Well, when soldiers came home from the Vietnam War, there was very little waiting for them in terms of therapy to uh, help them with the struggles they faced during combat. While one Vietnam veteran didn't want today's generation of vets to go through what he did, so he decided to do something about it. Two years ago, Vietnam veteran Christopher Chafee retired, purchased a camper, and planned to see all he could of America. But something held him back. It's like the cameras grabbed me by the neck straps and yanked me right out the door and said, we're not done yet. <laughs> The idea of forming a camera club for veterans came about. I started talking with uh, doctors and psychologists out of the VA Medical Center about the possibility of a creative endeavor and the alternative therapeutic value of that. Together, they created a step-by-step -step program for veterans dealing with depression and post-traumatic stress, with class starting at the Veterans Outreach Center. There's a safe zone that they feel there. Uh, they're in the classroom. They're with other veterans that are suffering from the same things that they're going through, so they have a camaraderie that goes there. Out in the field, Chafee says carrying cameras mirrors the sense of protection veterans had carrying weapons in combat. In a sense, reprogramming the brain as they are not destructive. We avoid terms such as shooting people. We talk about photographing subjects when we're talking about portraiture. It's received great feedback from the VA counselors and students themselves. Andrea Hessler served in the military for 10 years. Her last tour in Iraq was the hardest. Within my unit, we lost six people. Uh, within the battalion, we lost 39. She had a difficult time making friends as people couldn't relate to what she'd been through. I just feel comfortable with the people here, and it's just been a wonderful experience. It's Veteran Noel Pierce shared that in the 10 years since he returned from active duty, he became a recluse. Lightbenders was what got him out of the house and doing things he couldn't do before, like take the bus. Torchlight parade, which was a big push for me because I really don't like crowds either. It's given me a passion that I'm actually going to pursue for the rest of my life. And Lightbenders is the first program of its kind in the United States, and Chafee, who calls the students his heroes, hopes to eventually uh, expand it nationwide. Reporting from Riverfront Park's Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News. So great to see them find some peace. Thank you, Caroline.